happening in the modern parent. We are celebrating Nutrition Month. And here now to help us do it all right, as they say, is Director of Cadence Academy Preschool, Tracy martin Turgeon. Good morning. Good morning. So Nutrition Month is here. What do you say? We order a pizza pie. <laughs> well, you can still eat pizza, but you want to add in some healthy nutrition for the kiddos at home and for the adults. Of course you do. All joking aside, this is a very important thing and many factors to consider here. We were chatting about these before we went on. Inevitably, invariably, we are going to get some resistance from the young ones. How do we navigate this? You're going to have picky eaters. I don't care who's in your household. Some child or some adult isn't going to say, I don't like that. So what we want to do is give your children a variety, especially infants. So uh, a little fat fact is that infants develop their um, sweet taste first. So you shouldn't introduce like those sweet tasting things because they're not going to want the peas later. So introduce the healthy food first and then the sweets a little bit later. Same thing at home. Start introducing some things that your children might like and give them a variety so there's at least one thing they pick. Absolutely. That's what an interesting factoid there. You know, if they're developing that first, like you said, you want to avoid them. Right avoid that, There's plenty of time for sweets later on Absolutely. in life. Uh, and so let's talk about, you know, the presentation. This plays a role in everything as well. I, I think I know where you're going with this, but what does it all mean? So the presentation, so, you know, you might just put peas or just like some things on the table and kids are like, I don't want that. Right. Or the way it looks. So you might make some kind of meal that it doesn't look so good. So presentation is really good, especially appealing to the eye. We go out to dinner. If something looks good, we want to eat it. So it's all you want to have your children get involved if they're old enough. Like if you're not eating enough vegetables and fruits, make kebabs, have them make them, make sure their hands are washed, help them do that, and then put it on the table. They've included you in that. When you're putting the presentation out, you want it to look appetizing. Maybe make little things out of them to make it fun, not crazy in the kitchen, but you want them to try it. So it's all about presentation and it doesn't look weird. Absolutely. So the next one here, make more food, saving some time for later. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> Making more food and saving time for later. Saving. I tend to mumble, Tracy, I know. <laughs> I know. I was like, what? So making more food and saving. Yeah, so you want to make it all ahead of time. Right. So you, you prepare food. You can prepare foods in the in your lunches for the morning. So you know what your child's taking to school. You know what they're eating. You can prepare a menu ahead of time. So when you're shopping, you can prepare that, and you know you're getting some of those healthy habits and healthy Should foods. we allow the kids to pick out the foods? Absolutely. It's a great point. You want children to pick out foods. So they're going to want their snacks, and you don't want to take that away from them. So, you know, you want the chips. Pick out two healthy snacks as well. So they're picking that out. What should we eat for dinner tonight? What vegetable? Have them help pick it out because they're more up to try it. That's the thing too and I've learned this uh, through these segments. If they can be involved they're going to get more excited Absolutely. about it and they feel that they're a vital part of what's going on. Yes, they picked it so I'm going to eat it. I picked it. I like the sound of that and of course parents are the first teachers. If we exhibit and if we model good eating habits they're going to pick up on them we hope. Exactly. And they should. And they should. So you're not going to put food out that you're not going to eat and you're telling your child you should eat that and you're not going to eat it. Put a variety of food out on the table that you will try at least one or two or your children will try one or two and then by consistently consistently doing this children are going to want to eat those right uh, any other parting words of wisdom here stay, try to stay away from the sugary uh, snacks and the sugary drinks you can have them but use them in caution and then help your children pick healthy habits but we can still order that pizza you can still order that pizza half cheese half pepperoni absolutely <laughs> and some vegetables on it that's right Tracy always good to see you thank you for bearing with my mumbling here as I I fumble my way through the questions to review this helpful advice and to check out more modern parent segments with the great team. Just you, you know what to do. Just head on over to roadshow.com.